Well, a local woman is out of the wheelchair and walking again after six years. Covering medicine tonight, breakthrough technology in a bionic leg made all the difference. Judy Burhow is learning to walk again after all those years in a wheelchair. It's hard to believe she's had her new bionic leg for only two months. It fits fine. It, it don't hurt anywhere. And the knee part, it knows when I'm stepping and when I'm going to bend it. The state-of-the-art prosthesis is the first artificially intelligent knee system with the ability to learn and adapt to its users' movements. It contains a microprocessor that adjusts resistance automatically a thousand times a second, helping to maintain stability. Zach Weber at Premier Prosthetic Center can make other adjustments through a Bluetooth connection between Burhau's bionic leg and his PDA. He has it programmed for walking on all kinds of surfaces. It knows when you're on uneven terrain. It knows when you're walking fast, when you're walking slow, when you're going up a hill, down a hill. Burhau tried traditional prosthetic legs twice, but gave up because they were painful and ill-fitting. This new leg gives her renewed independence, something she's been craving. Go places by myself, be able to go shopping, visiting people, by myself. My goal for Judy, and it's been this way for, since day one, is to restore all of her independence and restore that on two legs. So far, so good. Glad to see her doing so well. Now, the bionic leg is actually called a Rio 2 prosthesis. It costs thirty to forty thousand dollars, but insurance may cover with proof of medical necessity. By the way, Zach Weber feels a special kinship with his patients. He has a below the knee prosthesis himself after being injured in a car accident several years ago. A new